Hi, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. In this video, I'm doing uh, cleaning, um, maintenance cleaning on a house. Um, I only had enough room in my camera to record a couple rooms, though. Um, there's this office and a bathroom, a bedroom, and um, some of another bathroom. A bathroom. Yeah. So. Um, I'm going to try to work on having more, um, room in my camera for recording longer bits of cleaning, because, yeah, my phone's always full, so. But thank you for, um, for supporting me, and, uh, please like and subscribe, and, um, continue watching. Not everyone's favorite part, vacuuming, um, seems to be what a lot of my subscribers, uh, like is the vacuuming, and, um, I credit that to Henry, um, that's the vacuum I use, it's the vacuum I've pretty much always used, I've tried out a few before and I didn't really like them, I always go back to Henry, and, um, it's, uh, Last me a long time. I've had Henry for for a long time. I've been cleaning houses for like mm, almost 17 years, and um, I like to refer to him as my happiest coworker because he's always got a smile on his face no matter what uh, dirt he's cleaning up. So. <laughs> Now I'm mopping. I'm using um, a Norwex mop pad, but on a uh, Bissell um, mop because it's, um, yeah, the um, Norwex mop ha head fits on the Bissell mop, uh, and the M Bissell mop handle is a lot cheaper and comes with a built in um, spray bottle, which you have to pay extra with the Norwex one. So. Okay, and here I'm just dusting um, one of the bedrooms. I'm just kind of straightening the blanket. I'm not gonna climb on uh, their kid's bed and yeah, it'd be easier to make if it was a, away from the wall a bit, but at least it looks more presentable. Clean and ready to vacuum.
need to move some things around to get all the floor. So this is the bathroom in the main hall upstairs um, that is shared. Um, need to replace the toilet paper and uh, straighten up the things and of course scrub up the tub and everything. Usually vacuum is, vacuuming is done after cleaning but an exception to that is bathrooms because there's often uh, little hairs and dust that will be harder to vacuum um, if they get wet. So I like to uh, give bathrooms a vacuum before I get started with the um, cleaning, including, like, if needed, uh, vacuuming some hair, strands of hair in the tub. One thing I like about Henry vacuums is how easy it is to detach the handle and use it for edging and hard to reach areas. I'm even vacuuming the counter before I clean it because there's like beard trimmings and nail things on the counter. and vacuuming the air vent, which is easy to reach with the vacuum handle too. Replacing the toilet paper roll. I always do this little triangle fold too. So depending on frequency, this doesn't need to be done every time, but they haven't had me here in a few weeks. Um, so the, the drain was pretty full of hair. That's a lot of hair. Now I'm cleaning the drain stopper and um, putting that back before I start uh, cleaning the tub. I'm using uh, soapy cell suds water to um, like cover everything with, um, and then I'm going to let it sit like that for a bit while I move on to other areas of the bathroom. That helps loosen all the grime and dirt, um, so that's easier to clean. I always wipe everything, including like towel bars, because they gather dust too, and straighten towels um, nicely. After scrubbing inside the toilet, uh, leave the toilet brush dry to dry under the lid. Wash your hands regularly, especially when cleaning washrooms. When cleaning mirrors and windows, I use a Norwex all-purpose cloth followed by their polishing cloth. Another brand I find uh, works just as well as Mr. Siga microfiber cloths. I'm cleaning the bathroom counter section by section and then putting things back neatly.
I always make sure products are like faced as if like working in a grocery store or um, merchandise. I don't know. I guess I picked that up from there. By now the tub and shower has had a lot of uh, dwell time and I'm wiping everything down. This shower head is uh, very, um, very shiny, like kind of a mirror. Um, so it, it needs to be uh, polished with a polishing cloth very well. I wipe and dry everything uh, so there's no water spots and everything dries clean and shiny. And then I wipe all the product bottles as I put them back neatly. Labels forward. I'm wiping the uh, front side of the tub and uh, scrubbing the inside <clears throat> and then I'll rinse it well and, um, and dry it. Our liner goes on the inside of the tub to keep the water in, and the decorative curtain goes on the outside. I use isopropyl alcohol to clean um, and sanitize the outside of the toilet and the toilet seats and everything. I should be wearing gloves, cause I'm, especially because this isn't my toilet, um, but I keep forgetting to restock my cleaning bag of them. Um, but I wash my hands really well after. Make sure you get all the the areas around the base of the toilet. I noticed their toilet didn't flush, so I just give it a little plunge. Again, I'll say wash your hands often, um, and if you're wearing gloves, like, remember to take them off, especially after cleaning something gross like a toilet, um, before moving on to cleaning something else. said in some other videos, I leave the sink till the end to clean because I will be using it. Now that everything's been cleaned, I'm doing another vacuum in the bathroom, um, to get any dust or whatever that I've knocked down from places I was cleaning. Always a uh, vacuum behind the doors. And then I'm on my way out of the room. I'm dusting the upstairs hallway. There's not much, just these shelves here. And wiping the railing of the banister. Now to vacuum the hallway, I uh, vacuum inside the door of the linen closet too in case there's any like dust that's um, gone in there. You already saw me vacuum the one bedroom and office and bathroom here. The other room is being used as an office and is occupied right now.
I vacuumed the top half of the stairs from up here, and then I'll vacuum the bottom half when I'm downstairs. the vacuum handle to get under this plant stand and get all the corners and edges on the stairs, including between the banisters. I'm using the brush attachment to clean the um, air return vent here. I'm vacuuming the uh, hallway runner mat and uh, also under it. Um, the Henry uh, vacuum handle has a, um, a different setting for hard floors and for carpets. Um, for hard floors, there's like a brush that comes down. I'm using the vacuum handle to vacuum in between each of the banisters because uh, you can't see it on video, but there's there's dog care. And the two big dogs they have. Over there is the master bedroom and walk-in closet, which I'm starting to vacuum, um, but I didn't have enough room on my phone to show all of that, um, though I do show some of the cleaning of the master washroom on screen. Now that the hallway is um, vacuumed, I'm mopping it and then it'll be dry by the time I need to go back up there again. So this is the master bathroom, which is an ensuite off of the master bedroom. Um, Soap splashes there, a toilet, and a, a nice big tub, and a separate shower. I'm doing the triangle fold on the toilet paper, but they also have an extra one on the back, which I'm also folding and adding a little stamp, which is simply done using the bathroom faucet. So just as I showed before, scrub the inside of the toilet and then leave the toilet brush to drip dry and um, disinfect 
it with uh, isopropyl alcohol on all the areas, starting with the top, work your way down to the bottom, and get um, all around the base. There's also a buildup of hair in this bath of drain, um, so I'm, I'm pulling that out, and since it's dry, I'm just going to vacuum it. Continuing to vacuum around the bathroom to get all the, the bits of hair and dust um, before I uh, get things more wet with the scrubbing, the tubs and showers and stuff. I'm also vacuuming the hair strands from the shower and removing the bath mats for now. So again, I'm using cell suds to um, clean the tub in this room, and I'm letting everything uh, have some dull time before I start scrubbing it up. I'm doing the same thing with the shower, uh, getting everything wiped down with cell suds and microfiber. At the sink and counter, they have this uh, soap holder for their bar soap, uh, which needs to be soaked and wiped. So again, I move everything and wipe behind it and then put it back neatly. I'm cleaning the spots off the mirror with a microfiber cloth followed with the polishing cloth. Polishing everything dry, including under the faucet. And don't forget the fronts of the cabinets. Sometimes there's uh, water drips on them.
the splashes. Right now the shower has had some dwell time and I'm wiping everything clean and then polishing it dry. And I work my way from top to bottom and um, wipe everything down here and make sure that the um, taps are all uh, dry and shiny. And I do the same thing for the tub, uh, wipe everything down and then polish it dry. So I'm wiping all the edges first and um, moving things and wiping under them and making sure everything's all clean and dry. I'm scrubbing and rinsing the tub. And then I wring out the cloth well and start drying it. And then once most of the water is off, I go over it again with the polishing cloth. So that's all I recorded for this cleaning because uh, then my phone died. But I finished up the bathroom um, by like vacuuming again and uh, mopping and wiping the sink, of course, and um, then um, in the master bedroom, dusted and made the bed and vacuumed and uh, moved on to the uh, main floor and basement, which hopefully I'll record next time I'm there. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and um, sorry, the voiceover was kind of um, maybe hard to hear. I have a, a cold now so yeah um so hope everyone has a happy thanksgiving and um thank you again for watching please like and subscribe